Well, this is so exciting. We uh, are continuing my journey, uh, and now we have uh, three esteemed guests here with me. We have Colt Cabana, Willow Nightingale, Howdy. Orange Cassidy. Um, well, can I just ask what's in your bag before we get started? Uh, sure. Uh, I carry my championship, my international championship in my, in my backpack. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Um, I won this. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the greatest. Wow. Tom. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) okay. Is that sure? You know, you're right. I could, I could snap it up. That's very impressive. I love it. Congratulations on winning it. Is that better? More I think so. Look at that thing. Oh, it's amazing. I've never won genuine, anything. Yeah. I've never won anything <laughs> in my life. Is that your proudest accomplishment? Um I guess. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well he, he feels the same as you. <laughs> yeah. So yesterday I had a discussion with RJ City. Did he sing a show tune to you of, in he, any sort? He was looking for an in on it, and I kept finding ways to block him. Smart. So it didn't happen. Um, I did not grow up a wrestling fan, per se. I, um, But I see an opportunity here. First of all, I see a uh, uh, time's running out on me, basically. To be a wrestler or life? For both. both. <laughs> Which you're going to, this is going to tie into the whole thing. I asked him, how can I come up with, how can I get in, how can I come up with a character? What would be the, the, the what would be my angle? And this is what we settled on. And this is, I need the, the experts to help me with this now. My character's name would be Last Stop Willoughby. And I'm in it, I lived a small life worked in an office, didn't do what I wanted, never lived my dreams out. But then my doctor tells me I have one year to live. <laughs> so then I decide I always wanted to wrestle. I'm getting in. I have one year to live. And that's the... That's oh, I thought the, this was your wrestling. So this is this real my, life. No, this is my... No, no, no please. Oh. <laughs> I thought no. this was your wrestling angle or character. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, maybe I have three years at best in real life. My wrestling thing would be one year. It and, feels like if you only had one year to live and you wanted to be a wrestler, yeah. you wanted to shorten that time. Well, so you say <laughs> that I'd be, I'd be probably get cutting it more like six months after starting wrestling. Maybe. But it would be the dream would yeah. be... See, this is what I need. You're so, you get it. This is why you're here. <laughs> is your name Willoughby? My, I guess, or is the last stop Willoughby? <laughs> I, we didn't figure that part out. It took long enough to just get to the the hook. And my, I need help. The catchphrase was not great. The catchphrase was, "I'm dying." That's. I mean, that's pretty good. It's very, okay. Uh, See that? Maybe well, I was wrong. I'm, I'm dying. You're also here in Los Angeles now. Yeah. I feel that's like a real stand-up line, right? I'm dying. I'm dying up here. Yeah. yeah. No, I guess that, but it'd be like I'm dying everywhere. We're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Not just up like here. What part? I thought it should be. What part of I'm dying do you not understand? And he said that was too long. Can I make? Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, please. That's. I'm dying, and I'm going to take you with me. Oh, oh, I like that. That's really good. Yes, I like that. You, that's great. See, we, that's. That's what I We need. have to add this competition in. Yeah. It? Yes. So I, each of you has a special talent that I can ma- manipulate and drain from you vampiric <laughs> vampirically. You won't even know I drained you. That's that's neither here nor there. Um Colt, you you're just like iconic and you're strong and you s- they're stoic and you represent just you've got the the strength and I need to figure out that because I, I am not oh. a strong person. Well, I'm going to can I switch a little bit? Sure. Because, you know, I have a long history in professional wrestling and, and from the very beginning I was 
at the merch stand, like before anything, okay. you know, like, you know, like the indie merch at the bands, like that's how I was. I helped start a, a, a t-shirt company called Pro Wrestling Tees. Okay. Um, and people have known me as the merch guy. Mm -hmm. I feel my, I know I'm strong uh, yeah. from my, you can tell from my upper chest. Sure. Yeah. And uh, uh -huh, yes. thank you. <laughs> sure, as he looks down Let's, at the floor yeah, and refuses a, to acknowledge my <laughs> giant look, upper chest. I, okay, you're dying. Well, you're okay. dying. Thank now you. I'm acknowledging your giant upper chest. I think I could help you with 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 your merch. Okay. So you just want a piece that you want to. You're looking for like some kind of like Live Nation 360 deal, where you just get a piece of all the action. And okay. I, like, yeah. yes. I want to. I want you to make money mm -hmm. in this year that you have, mm -hmm. um, but I'm also looking for a perpetuity deal here. Okay, because you're gone in a year. But the thing is, I figured like my doctor could be like my my guy in the corner with me. Mm -hmm. Like I have a doctor helping. He's always checking my vitals. Do you think he's concerned, or is he helping you like enthusiastically live your dream? That like, is yeah! a great question. Go out Willow. in a blaze of glory. What if my doctor is saying? If you're going to do this, I'm going to help you do it. Like my doctor concedes that he's like, look, I recommend you do not do this. But if you're going to, I will help you. It's already been done. Yeah. I I, I think you Before have. You. So your 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 doctor is going to be your manager or your person that will be ringside with you. Yes. And then at some point in. The, while you're wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. Your condition's probably going to kick in, and you're going to be moving slower. Maybe you'll get maybe you'll get drained of energy, and then mm -hmm. your doctor could just give you some pills, and then yeah. when you take those, you just mm -hmm. freak out, and then you succeed. That's great. That's no, like it's not. Don't encourage more I mean, pill taking well, in wrestling. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. I think we should all take pills. Something way worse. What, what, what do you? What do you mean? We already don't have a good rep as professional oh, wrestlers. Yeah. I think it's I was like, a, it would be entertaining. Yeah. It wouldn't help our image but. it's a very positive message if people <laughs> see me lifelessly laying on the mat it is a mat right you call it the mat okay. yes. i just want to make sure i get the lingo right on this and then my doctor gives me a shot in the forehead right right in the forehead and then suddenly up the forehead's like a, a weird spot yeah i was gonna say the has anyone ever weird spot. been taking a shot in the forehead it's visual it's visual. You're that's, thinking more entertainment. That's what we're all about, visuals, right? It needs to read to the upper, uh, the 400 seats up there. You know, the, the slobs. All right, fine. I think of the defibrillator. Okay. Shock you. Oh, back to life. that's Give dramatic. me a little shock, so like a, like a defibrillator. Okay, I like that. But the, so. Who are we going to get as this doctor? Have you decided yet? I haven't decided. I'm going to. Anyone um, on the team here? No, they don't have what it takes. <laughs> I just. <laughs> No offense to them. They're not ready. This is not their moment. <laughs> they And they know that. They know it. They might cry or be sad to hear that, but okay. at four in the morning, they're going to realize about, Tom was <laughs> telling the truth. What about Klausner? Julie Klausner is my manager? That would be pretty amazing. I'm going to, that's the short list. Throw right that there. out to her, yeah. So, um, and first of all, she's going to be thrilled that... She's uh, known by uh, a professional wrestler will make her a year. Hi. Right. So this is what I'm looking at from the three of you. Marketing. Mm -hmm. Fan connection. Yeah. And I'm not sure about the third one. Moves. The moves. I want the oh. moves. <laughs> and okay. it moves. So... What should my look be if I'm going to be last stop Willoughby, a person? Because basically, oh, here's, I just had an idea. What if this, what if I have a weapon that, because I also figured, let's confuse the fans a little bit, that you're rooting for the guy who's dying, but he also fights dirty sometimes. So it's a little mixed messaging. Is that is that too confusing? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to have... I feel you could do whatever you want because we're yeah. all going to have sympathy that you'll yeah. be gone. I mean, like whatever it takes, let the let the dying guy win. So like in pro wrestling, Stone Cold Steve Austin was yeah. like the biggest good guy, but he would mm -hmm. do all the tropes of a bad person. Flick everybody off. Sure. Uh, beat up your boss, drink your beer. But it's just yeah. like everyone related to it yeah. because we, like, we just loved it as a society. Because it's aspirational. It's like I wish I could tell my boss to kick rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And so for for you, it's just mm -hmm. like we, no one, none of us. I don't. Well, I can't speak for them, but I don't want to die. 
but you're doing it. You're doing dying. Yeah. And so we're yeah. like, yeah, do whatever you want. We wish we could do whatever we wanted to. What about this cult? You know, the concept of a bucket list. Mm. I got a freaking bucket that I hit people with. <laughs> the That's good. Right. You've got good ideas for this. Yeah. What if I go, I got my bucket list and I wang. Mm. Like, let me check my bucket list and then I could put it over somebody's head. Uh. That's a good name for a finishing maneuver also. The bucket list. Bucket list. Orange, does that make sense to you? The bucket list. Could that be one of my finishing moves? The bu- Or my one finishing. I plan on having three finishing moves. Um, Why three? It's two more than one. Mm. You only need one. Okay. Well, maybe you only need one. Yeah. Um, I do. Is this the uh, orange punch? He punches a person in the face. Sure. I was going to talk to you about some sort of orange Julius thing since you're in Los Angeles and that's like a thing out here, maybe some sort of cross promotional thing. Because I know this is a big thing. Like these wrestlers, the money that you guys make is just astounding. It is where <laughs> the piles. I, I've. I got to just say, Hulk Hogan Pasta Mania. There's a Mm. franchise. There's hundreds of them everywhere. Mm. (laughs) He's been... Mm -hmm. It was... It just is a template for how you do it. Did you ever hit up Pasta Mania? I think think the truth be told, there was one at the Mall of Of America that was... I don't know. I just tend to not associate Hulk Hogan with food I'd like to eat. Because his arms even look like hot dogs, don't they? <laughs> yeah, so you would associate him with food. I just say he should have opened up a hot dog yep. stand. Yeah. See, and, you're the you're great marketer. And the image should have been his arm in a bun <laughs> with <laughs> mustard and relish on it. I feel it should have been two bun, like one yeah. bun up here and then one bun <laughs> on the uh, forearm. Maybe that's what you call like the the Hulkamaniac dog would have been like the uh, an L-shaped hot dog. Mm. That's what makes it special. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and um, he'll, if you besmirch him, he will sue you and own every, that's what I'm talking about. Now. I'm really trying to get him to sue me, honestly. Is that that's right? my goal. I want him to own this whole place. Okay. Just like Gawker. He can own Gawker and Forever Dog. Yeah, well, you'll get a Netflix documentary out of it, so that's <laughs> that good. That's one thing. Yeah. And that'll be good for the brand. Right. So, you like this bucket list idea? Like the bucket as a as a, as a move? If I have a metal, like one of those metal buckets? What do you think, Willow? You're, you seem skeptical of this. I, okay. So, we have agreed that you're going to receive sympathy because yeah. you're dying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like, how do you want to be perceived? Do you want to be perceived as someone who is like trying to drag everyone down, like your idea, right? Mm-hmm. Like drag everyone down with you, yeah. or are you like trying to like uplift people and be like, even in my darkest days, I'm. I think I want both. You want both? If that's possible. Because I picture what about moves like this where I'm like, <laughs> uh, like if somebody hits me and then I'm like, I act like, oh no, maybe I'm going, <laughs> and then they like give me a, a second and then I. Hit him with the bucket, because they, I preyed upon their sympathy for the dying person. It's a, it's a little dastardly. But wouldn't yeah. you still just be like, oh, it's like you love to hate. Like it's like I get it. He's got like I maybe I don't agree with everything, but I he doesn't have much time. I see why he's acting like that. It's like it's like a Breaking Bad kind of thing we're tapping mm. into. Think about that. Like an anti-hero. Could almost. everybody everybody cheered for Walter White? This is the worst human alive. He's poisoning communities with meth, and everybody's like, "Oh, don't catch him." But it sounds like just like an old guy that just gets away with <laughs> stuff because you're old, and people are just like, "Oh, he's he's uh, don't worry, he's mm-hmm. he's on his way out." He could he can say that. Okay, he sure. can take that from the CVS. He's yeah, ninety five. It's fine. So it's like some bad grandpa business. You're saying we're working in a little bit of grand. Ba- oh, let Irving Zisman do whatever he's gonna do. He's an old guy, and then he's stealing your car or whatever Listen, he's doing. Johnny Knoxville was in WrestleMania, and you amazing. are you haven't been. That's the other thing. I need to jump the line on this. I'm not young. I need to get fast tracked mm. with all of this. I know WrestleMania is happening tomorrow. Is there any chance? What would be the chance of me getting involved in that? I mean, I feel we 
pretty high. Oh. <laughs> high. Okay. All right. I was going to say, so, us at All Elite Wrestling, I think, I are, like, are happy to take you on. I sure. Feel. Well, I want to join AEW. That's yeah. where I want to be. This WW. Look, I don't want nothing to do with that. I want to be on your team. So how do I get to the front of the line at AEW? What do I do? Am I well, paying someone? Am I... Or- Orange is a champion there. Yes. This is... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, I mean, I'll always take money. Okay, but can you help me? I mean, are you willing to <laughs> take money? I'll always take money, too. I yeah, might not yeah. be able to help you. Well, there's no guarantee, but there's a better percent percentage if you gave me the money. You'll put in the word. Right? Yeah, that, that <laughs> sure. if you didn't give me the money. Yeah. I picture an email coming from you to... What's the name of the, what's the head of AEW's name again? Tony Khan. Okay. To- Tony. Tony Ralph Khan. Tony. Yes. Yours, I picture, dear Tony, email, subject line, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Tony, I have to forward this request. I am not, I'm, this is not an endorsement. I am merely forwarding this to you because this guy's paying me. Mm. And then you paste my. Yeah, my request in there, and then you just go. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, Tony Khan, great businessman, by the okay. way. Great businessman. I think I think he'd appreciate that. Well, I would do that. Of course, he'd see you're gra- you're grabbing the money. Yeah, but I think that Tony would also appreciate a hook like this. It's like it's like the that last Rocky movie when he was like. And they were like, that simulation's got people talking. It was the dumbest thing that ever happened in anything. It was a ESPN boxing simulation that have you ever heard the phrase this that simulation's got people talking? <laughs> just imagine that in no. a, that just somebody now. wrote that in a script. <laughs> I can picture it on a t shirt. Uh, yeah. And selling that at ProWrestlingTees.com for sure. So if I I think he'd realize the hook. This guy is not conventional he's way older than the standard new wrestler because i'm like well i would i'm starting where these guys are usually on their when they oh they're still around then they come back and do something I feel like that steve austin thing i saw last year it's like he basically was just promoting his beer out there and pouring beer on people i mean like like i'm past where he, he's had to start but you can promote the best show, so it's it's yeah. that is true. What yeah. if I just have best show stickers, best show hats? Mm-hmm. What other merch? What would show? you wear, by the way? Maybe a best that's show, si- like a singlet of some sort. I was that's called. This is where we're at now. What would I wear as the dying person? I mean, it has to be someone who's like you know trying to relive their glory days. Oh, like what so is the, so? This is like the kind of thing. Like if you had a year to live, what would you do? So am I dressing like? like ridiculously young like i'm trying to be i like, love that idea okay. i love the more ridiculous things are sure, i okay. find them much more entertaining. now is that how you connect with the audience because you're larger than life and you're always smiling and you I light think, the place up like okay so similar to the idea of like i'm gonna die it's i find my motive in wrestling is like life is suffering which is like a very grim take but sure professional wrestling is the thing i love most Mm -hmm. so it makes me very happy to be able to go out and do that and share it with a bunch of people so that's like the highlight of my day week whatever and it definitely comes across yes but i think like the idea of there Mm -hmm. being like a good guy who's just like an 80s action hero Mm it's like kind of dated it's like people don't relate to that anymore yeah but everyone relates to facing their own mortality at some point this walter because look i know you want to connect with the fans and make people feel good i'm coming at this more of a cash grab (laughs) it's a little bit more of the angle i'm taking with this so my thing's a little less pure than the way you're (laughs) yeah i pictured you coming down with like the silver and the drip oh Uh, yeah if i come down with the drip Oh we are. We were in totally different yeah. places, Willow. So if yeah. I have the bag, the drip, because then I can and you can use it. Yes. Faces. Also, right? saline right in their eyes. Uh, I think your doctor should be Doctor Mort and mortality for short. 
I think it's pretty good. Dr. Mort. That is that we were locking that in. Yeah, I think it's my good. my doctor is Dr. Mort. And he'll like always like what if like he does things where he's like telling the ref like this guy's sick and then and I'm doing all my business. I think I think sick. here's I think this is where this is where your character is gonna get really complex. With Dr. Mort? Dr. Mort is actually the villain of this story. Mm-hmm. And Dr. Mort is making you do this because he wants the cash grab, but you're trying to relive your your fantasy. And then he's <sighs> making you do these things. So I'm a pawn in Dr. Correct. Mort's game. And is he really dying in uh, a year? I see, yeah, that's the thing. You can get into that. Maybe is he's that not shot dying. To the head, Maybe like the poison? doctor's like, yeah. <gasps> I like that. And then, wait, you know, and then, the, and everyone can sympathize with you, yeah, because they they know that he's taking advantage of you. It'll be, it's like you're talking now. It's it's a Return of the Jedi, and it's Darth Vader throwing the Emperor into the. You could pit. milk this for years. Is there even a storyline you think where because you're now pursuing professional wrestling, yeah, you like start trying to take care of yourself. You want your cardio to be better. Yeah, you're like going hard in the gym. You're eating sure. right. And now you actually extend your life somehow. Oh, no, we're going to look. <laughs> no, if this thing is a not. success, Dr. Mort's going to find, mm, look like that it's two years to live. <laughs> I think. I, don't be surprised if Dr. Mort finds some cures along oh, the, the way. the paperwork to was extend wrong my all life. along. I just got some new test results. You've got another eight months. <laughs> And then suddenly when the then the thing's running dry, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, I just got some results. Tonight, <laughs> you're dying tonight. Um, yeah, I like this. What, what would, so you think I should dress like a, like I'm trying to be young. I imagine you like, it's, a, it's a black singlet with okay. classic boots. And I think you're wearing headgear. I think you have elbow pads on, knee pads. Like you're okay. trying to protect yourself. Mm, with, like, sure. Because you're. Uh, mm-hmm. a, a dying person fragile instead of a cape should i have a hospital gown i love it turned backwards yeah like, say, get like a cool kid or... Wait, what? <laughs> you know what i mean like no like like the, the the dressing gown oh. but i throw it over my so like oh. that my cape is is the is a medical dressing gown i think you come out in the gown okay and then when you get in the ring you rip mm-hmm. it off and maybe I'm getting wheeled out on a stretcher with the bag and the whole thing, but no. Yeah, sounds great. That's great. Oh, you like that. Okay, like, what, what's, it's pushed by Dr. Mort. Pushed by Dr. Mort. And maybe there's like some bridge troll creep who's like <laughs> Dr. Mort's like Renfield who does whatever he tells him to do. Like his. You're hiring a lot of people for this act. And we. Okay. So, so, so this is what. Okay. So this is a finance. So this this raises hackles on your financial uh, side. Of I mean, you're first of all, you're taking a lot of money. We've established that you're this is a cash grab. It's you're looking grab. for the money. Yes. And is and now you you think that Tony is now going to fine. We'll give you Doctor Moore, but now this other person, and I assume that other person needs another person, and you're going to want like extras in like a waiting room. I can yeah. see it all right now. Well, it's I, just asking for a lot, and you're not established yet, Tom. That's true. That's true. What if we do it like? The way Chuck Berry, when he would go from town to town, he would just have a pickup band that they weren't his band. He would just say, like, you guys know uh, my songs. I need a bass guitarist, a drummer, and a piano player. Every city, a different one. I just get a different. So we have it on the record that you want to be like Chuck Berry. Is that In right? every possible In every way. way. Just as a human, not as a, I'm an not, artist. I won't sign off on that. Okay. No, I mean... <laughs> That mm-hmm. I appreciate you. You've, you've always got your antenna mm-hmm. on cult. You're mm-hmm. always seeing the angles. I'm, I'm seeing sad American history, but <laughs> you can see whatever you want. Uh, so if I let's just say I get a Dr. Mort that they sign off on mm-hmm. that. And how much Who's is also this like guy he's doing it? ring crew. Like, you know, we'll yeah. get a guy from unless you need a like a true like can it just be some schmuck or Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Great. No, I'll just get some loser uh, from the Dr. UCB Mort theater. Very important to this I, whole, I, I, th- I think right? feel like <laughs> Doctor Mort has to be the same person, but whoever his little like helper. Oh, that changes every yeah, time. That, yeah, that can change. But I'll just look. Yeah. I'll just go to UCB theater and go look for like level two and just get some kid to do it. Hey, want to go on the road? <laughs> Pain and so, exposure. Yeah, let's see if you this uh, yeah. this this white coat this lab coat fits you. Yeah. Because Doctor Mort will have like the old. The, the mirror thing that no doctors had for 80 years. Um, and we'll tell them it's improv so we don't have yeah. to pay them. 
That's exactly it. Right? I'll say we're going by a strict improv. It's experience. Yeah. This is for the experience. What about this? What if Dr. Mort has that pen light shines in the eyes? That's when I hit somebody. I that hammer. Yeah, yeah, the hammer, the, the reflexology hammer. This is just, and even like, you know when you're in the doctor's office and they always have those models of like your intestines? Mm. I smash that over your head. I'm just happy that you've, Mm-hmm. Before it was everything was I'll hit him with this bucket. Yeah, and I like that you're you found other. I'm explain just I'll hit you with anything in a doctor's office. Yeah, yeah. yeah the copy of Sports Illustrated. Um, highlights magazine. Oh, highlights. Yeah, you like goofus and gallant. Here you go, up close. I, I'm also I'm I've been sitting here this entire time and I'm still hung up on your name. So that your name is. I was going to say something. Well, let's figure that. that out then. So your name is right now. It's long. Last hold, stop Willoughby. Last stop Willoughby. Yes. It's got to be like last stop Larry Willoughby or last stop Stump Willoughby. It's got to be something. I the last stop Stump. What about that? Last stop Stump. Well, you have you need I, a last name too. I feel yeah. you have to okay this with Willow, who's sure, sitting no, right what, next that's to right. us. What do you think? Yes. I. Is Willow be okay? It's so I'm close cool to you. With it. Okay, was, I think it's fun. This was all RJ's thing, the Willoughby thing. I didn't get. We'll it. have he a talk it, with RJ. He said it's a Twilight Zone reference, huh. which God knows what he's talking about. The train thing, right? The train Twilight Zone. I, I think know what he's so. About. Yeah, I think uh, big Twilight Zone guy. Yeah, you're. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, give him a first name. You say it's got a Keith. Great last last the last stop Keith Willoughby. That's perfect. Last stop, Keith Willoughby. Yep. And it's just like, meet Keith Willoughby, a very small man, lived a small life. Then he found out he was dying and put together his list of the th- dreams he had before he croaks. And one is t- to be a professional wrestler. And he's going to give it everything he's got before time runs out. I think that's pretty powerful stuff. Mm. So, Orange, what should be my move? Do you do you do you do do you like the bucket as a as a thing for a finishing move? No, no, I don't like the bucket at all. Okay, I better not see you with a bucket. I'll tell you. What if I just pull the bucket out of my backpack right now? <laughs> be like, I'd be impressed. What if it wasn't like a literal bucket, but his finishing move? Was yeah, called yeah. like the bucket or that, like the bucket list. Yeah, yeah. My arm like a bucket handle. I catch feel, you around the neck. Yeah, I feel there's like a, sl- a sleeper in there somewhere. Okay. Uh, yeah. A sleeper hold where maybe you would go to sleep. What if I? What if Doctor Mort gives me something that I inject yep. my opponent with, and yep. then they but see? I don't think you. You see, you're the you are the good person in this. So what if they Dr. Like, Mort is now making is not Dr. Mort yeah. is is helping you win without your knowledge. Yes. So gotcha. Dr. Mort will inject them with something. Yes. They'll so come in all drowsy amazing. and tired and then all you got to do your 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 move you think mm-hmm. you're good. Yeah. <laughs> that is your move is you just and I you have just, to agree you with can it. just throw your body at them and they'll fall. Sure, because Doctor Mort is raking the, the Hulk. Right, a and he's pin, he's pinning him, right. thinking he's yeah. winning. Yes. Yeah, we are we are helping your esteem so much in your wow. dying days. Yeah. And, and it's this Mort. So it's like a it's like a charity event, kind of like for like it's an extended. That could be the name of the finishing move. Yeah, the charity event. The charity event, <laughs> and then you could right. also have a you could also have Doctor Mort uh, take a baseball hat. And go mm. around the front row and being like, "Hey, we got to pay for his medical bills." That is a, I like this. <laughs> Why so didn't much. I think of that, that part? Yeah, that's your that's that's your side of the street. Now, Orange, yes, is Doctor Mort the bad guy in this? Yes. You're saying he's the villain, but he's doing a mitzvah for Tom here. Well, no, he's taking all his money. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's also taking me for a ride, <laughs> right? Like, like we'd be going over the books, and Doctor Mort's like, "Oh, we're losing our shirt here." Buddy. Well, Doctor Mort's also like, "You got to pay me. You mm. got to pay all well, these medical true. bills." That's true. Oh. oh, don't get me started on American insurance. Oof. Just get started a little Name bit. One <laughs> thing. Name one thing that's wrong with the American healthcare mm. system. I dare you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, I really like this angle. It's a little pathetic that I'm actually truly awful, but it's probably embracing my actual skill level. 
So then everybody's watching me out there thinking I'm tough. Not, and I'm not realizing Dr. Moore, when the guy, when a, my opponent gets pushed against the thing, he just injects something into the back of their neck. I'm not seeing any of that. And I'm thinking I'm winning and everybody's cheering. And now everybody's rooting for me. Are they telling me, Dr. Moore's a, he's a bad guy. What are you doing? There are bound to be people who mm-hmm. will. Sure. That's yeah. wrestling fans yeah. for you, right? They're, Have you seen Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> However you want them to react. I'm sure some of them will react that way, but there's always going to be a group that's going to be like, no. So so people are going to give it away to you. Sure. And am I just saying like, no, Dr. Mort's a good guy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm kind of clueless. So this is Willow. This is right up. I'm winning the crowd over left and right with this because I'm also a, a pawn in, in a larger game and they have sympathy for the sucker. Sometimes. See, all of these things we're talking about yeah. with professional wrestling, the most important thing is fan interaction, right? Because the fans are there and mm-hmm. we're service to them. And you're basically now giving the fans a reason to cheer for you or boo you and get involved in what you, your character is. Okay. They're invested. I'm invested. This is amazing. This is like way more character development than people I know who are actual wrestlers. Well, they need to step it up. Because this is the new face of wrestling. There he is. Last stop, Keith Willoughby. Last stop, He's coming Keith for Willoughby. your spots. So, Orange, again, you think a finishing move for me? It doesn't even matter because it should be like a sad move that I think is amazing. It's like if you just if you just give a weak slap to the face uh-huh. and they go down because yeah. they're just drunk, or you just anything, and you think you think you have the mm-hmm. you think you're you, this this punch you have is perfect. Yeah. And I maybe I have some maybe I have some crazy name for it because I think it's yeah, just like look out here comes the uh, here comes uh, uh, the will of stop on the yeah. <laughs> right here comes a uh, the stop sign or something yeah know. well we should keep it medical related sure exactly here comes your uh, here's the bill <laughs> Oof. don't get here, me oh, started the copay. sure the copay here's the copay exactly. <laughs> Now, what do you think, Colt? Yeah. Is there any angle, since you know merch so well, mm-hmm. where we sell mm-hmm. We're selling what all. Dr. Mort's injecting into people? Wow. Well, you, we the, ha- that has to go through the FCC, I feel. Maybe like as an energy drink or something. Uh huh. Or the opposite. I don't know. <laughs> you want to hear my pill idea or what? <laughs> if. Remember they remember how they had like those uh, candy cigarettes? Oh yeah, back in the day, and you could yeah. smoke, pretend to smoke them. They're bubble gum. Just get little pill bottles and put candy in them. Mm. Put candy in pill bottles. Probably can't do that though, right? I don't think anymore. I love it. really. I love you it. Can't. Put your logo on it. I can. I know a guy who can do it cheap. Okay. Yep. You got a logo guy. I got a guy. And it'll say like Doctor Mort's uh, special pills on the label. I feel we could also do like an interactive like bus ride or train ride. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever last, well, it's last stop. Train. It's like last stop. So it's like a train. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, sure. then, and then, but it's like, you know, like mm-hmm. it is hosp- It's like a hospital within a train, I feel. Oh, okay. So I'll be like maybe on the back of the train waving like FDR to everybody. Yeah, but like on like a, a girder? A girder? A gurney? A gurney. A gurney? So like Hannibal Lecter, like they lift me up, and I face everybody. But but like um a hospital one. Yeah yeah yeah. But you push the button. Oh, I push the button. So it's like a, it's like a like a, a craftomatic bed yes, or yes, whatever. Yeah. So I just like, hey everybody, how you doing? And in my head, it always felt like a bubble boy situation. Like you're in like you're this you're like wow. cause you're sick. So it's like you have to like you can't be touched. Like mm-hmm. you're in a pope mobile or something. Like you can't like. And you know what's great about that? We could sell uh, bubbles. We could sell bubbles. I love that you're constantly thinking of selling. Mm-hmm. I don't actually have to come in contact with these fans. Oh, I wish I could. Oh, you want me? To, I wish to give you a hug. Oh, I wish I could. I just this condition is preventing me. I right? hate, I, well, I hate to tell. I I feel this gimmick is maybe three years too late. As this was oh, the yeah. This was the perfect pandemic wrestling character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we lose the. I like the bubble part, though. 
I do like the bubble part, but maybe I do leave the bubble to meet fan, certain fans. I don't know. Is the bubble like maybe even a part of the entrance? Mm. Like you come down yeah. to the ring, yeah, yeah. you're in this bubble, mm-hmm. and then you like bravely like unzip it, enter, yeah. and you're like, it's mm-hmm. okay, it's okay, yeah. I got this. You zip, unzip the button, I come out, yeah. Then there could be like a bubble match too, also where it's bubble versus bubble. It's great. Get Wayne Coyne from Flaming Lips in his bubble to play the national anthem. Oh, see, I was thinking Gyllenhaal comes out with you. We get Jake Gyllenhaal. We get him. Original Bubble Boy. The original Brothers Bubble come. Boy. Beetlejuice. Oh, I was Beetle. thinking like uh, American Gladiators, the Atmospheres. Mm-hmm. Like they all, they all try to. I like that. I like. If it's suddenly like if suddenly if like when the when the wrestler when what do you call that when you make your when you come out the oh, your entrance your entrance thank you I, it's a word that is used for everything I should have known that um, but imagine if suddenly the entrance and suddenly a bubble rolled down a ramp that'd be pretty impressive huh you could sell hamsters we could sell hamsters I love. You've got an eye. What's the what's the sketchiest piece of product you've put your name on, Colt? Um, I mean, I've sold bootleg Macho Man CDs for two dollars. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. that was kind of my low point and high point. So that's no, pretty impressive. Thank you. Two, two dollars. Two two bucks. Yeah, this was uh, two thousand and one. Three for five. Sure, I'd make a deal with anyone. <laughs> of course. Are you kidding me? I yeah. Should, I don't want to see that sale go, you know? And that's no, how you should feel too, is last stop Keith McGee. Last stop Keith Willowbrook. Willow last stop Keith, Keith McGee's pretty good too. <laughs> last I actually Last Stop Keith McGee has something to it. I gotta say I think we're gonna lose Willoughby, so there you go. We're clearing a path. I can claim it out, it out of respect me, yeah. also. Willow Willoughby is we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with the brands. Um, got a shirt that says "Way to Be McGee." Oh my! Way God. to Be McGee. What are you doing? That's my department. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Jeez. Last stop, Keith McGee. What are we thinking? Is that a thumbs up on that? Great. Okay. Thank you for coming on the show. This is a true thrill, and it was so much fun, and I appreciate it. And I guess uh, from this point on, we are all enemies because I will be fighting you in the wrestling ring. So, best of luck to the three of you. That belt will soon be on this side of the room. And uh, just watch out for old Dr. Mort with his needle. I'm just going to tell you. How's it going to feel to be felled by the person you created? How's that going to feel when you look up and you see me riding high and you're just out cold on the mat? Well, you wouldn't be seeing it if you're out cold. You wake up to see me celebrating. Despair. Despair. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be proud to be honest. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly it. It would be like if your son beat yeah. the crap out yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be sad and on some level proud. Like, yeah, my son knows how to fight. Thank you, Colt. That's the answer I was looking mm-hmm. for. Thank you, and uh, I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the ring. That was the perfect way to end. That's like a wrestling. Perfect. Thank promo. you. I'll, I'll see you in the ring. I'll see you in the ring. Thank you. And then you just ruined it. And now we, <laughs> yes. They can cut before that. We're not going to. <laughs> we will not cut. No, thank you so much. Thank you.